Well, here we go. This is an addition to vlog 42, I think it is. Um, the site's going really well, and uh, we've got some quality people on there, and they are exceptional, exceptional people. The contribution that people are doing is extraordinary, and um, there are members on there that we need. They they are the structure, they are the backbone of the group, and uh, Davy Jones, you are one of those, and uh, you can't go. And uh, I'll tell you something now, mate. When when you post something and you say things that you do on on uh, landscape and survival, I sit up and I listen as well, you know. And uh, we need you. The group needs you. Younger lads on there need you. Some of the older guys need you. You're a requirement. You're part of the the cog of this network that we've got going and, and we need you there and uh, you can't go anywhere and uh, you've got to stay if you don't contribute so much that's absolutely fine and uh, the aim for all this is um the consumer needs you as well so we need quality people dave so you can't go jedi knights just don't go Um, our dining room occasionally gets used for um, doing some of our books and uh, we've got a fair bit of a few receipts over there so drawing board and uh, I'm going out to see a, a client now and uh, Sunday afternoon and uh, see what he has to say about the uh, the concept so let's do it Sunday afternoon just going out to see uh, a client now that um I'd seen uh, in the week they made an appointment and wanted us to um, they wanted us to go and have a look at their garden. I went down and had a look, and uh, we've given them an option now to have a look at another client's garden that we finished. And as it happens, and we have another potential client nearby, they've already gone and had a look at the garden that we uh, we've nearly completed, and they're over the moon with the work there. So uh, that's looking promising, looking good. We got a good rate per square meter on the. On the paving as well and they've gone down to a display area that we've done with a, a stone importer and um, they've gone down to have a look at the stone there and see what they think of it and uh, I've had a few uh, recommended a few different types of stone and uh, this is um, my board my drawing board where I draw on and these are the first few that I've done this year and you know, sketches and uh, proposals and uh, I've got theirs underneath there now and uh, I'll take that but the, the thing is by taking and showing them this they can see some of the other projects that I'm on and hopefully that will give a little bit more confidence and inspiration knowing that we're busy over the years I've always said that uh, if somebody can start straight away they're probably not worth bothering with uh, <laughs> but I've had situations where I've had cancellations and uh, I've had two come at the same time and then all of a sudden I'm available so um, that may not always be the case and uh, certainly at the moment uh, we've got I don't know eight nine weeks uh, booked up and uh, which is good and I'm, I'm that's where we want to be you know how long people will wait I don't know we've had people will wait six months and over the year but you know generally they want you to go straight away the thing I was going to talk to you guys about is that we'll all have different ways of structuring our business, how we do things, how we feel confident about it. And, you know, I'm not here to knock anyone uh, about how they they um, go about their business. It's just not the done thing. And, um, you know, for me, it works for me and um, we've reaped the benefits of it. And uh, I think I've sort of fine tuned uh my my business plan how I go about things and how it works and uh, it's working for me and uh, we've been reasonably successful and um, so but everybody will have their their own idea of how in how to do things but the thing about landscape and survival is 
to um, give everybody a chance to put their idea forward and uh, you know what will work for one it won't work for the other and uh, you know we all do things in our own way and we have to respect that that's so important but with landscape survival we get people talking and it may be the case that some of you might like what other people are doing and you may adopt their approach on things One thing, one thing I've always tried to do uh, with the group and with the vlogs that I do, I try to bring, you know, a bit of honesty with it. And uh, what's happened now is I'm on my way now to see this client and I've pulled up outside now. But uh, we had a few words on the phone just then. Well, I did because uh, he said that uh, he said one thirty, and I clearly said I'd be there at 2.30. I know I did, but if I if I got it wrong, I got it wrong. But the fact is that the other day he was questioning about whether I'd phoned, and uh, it's on my phone, it's on my mobile. Uh, I phoned four times, and uh, each time he wasn't there, and then he sent us an email, uh, whether he was complaining or not, but with his dissatisfaction of me not being there. But I I, I had phoned, and uh, I've done his drawing. I've spent four hours on a, on a concept drawing, didn't take long when you you know we got a bit of experience but the fact is that i did call him and uh, i just said to him you know that i weren't going to come and and uh and i was going to turn around and go back because he uh he clearly wasn't happy and uh but it's so important that from the outset is that if he's going to be like that now will he be like that throughout the, the duration of the job so but he um was very humble and uh still requested me to come along so here we go is it a good start to this is it a bad omen i don't know all done i've just come out now and just parked outside now and uh on the way down here um he told me off and wanted to know where i was and uh i wasn't having it i didn't accept it you know and uh, i said between two and a half past and he said it was one thirty, and um i was concerned then uh, that his attitude was i didn't appreciate it you know if i say i'm going to do something i do it and i know what i do and uh you know I'm in the marketplace to choose my customers as well just as what they are to choose their landscaper and uh, but anyhow we, I went in and I met his wife they were nice they were pleasant and uh, he apologized there was no need for apologies but the fact is that there are some great landscapers out there in the respect of what they say they're gonna do they do and I know you guys do it and uh, I wasn't having it and I didn't accept it so anyway went in and it was fine and uh, we spoke about um, what they wanted in the garden and some of the changes to the concept and but they generally they liked it and they were pleasant uh, but th the fact is they've been let down so many times by contractors that haven't turned up as simple as that they haven't turned up and uh, and uh, it's not nice it's not nice there are a lot of people that let the industry down out there and uh, but I don't and I know there's guys out there that don't either so Hopefully, we get the job. So, uh, but I only want to work for nice people, and uh, it's as simple as that. And I'm sure you guys do. Well, anyway, I'm back in the office now, and uh, I'm going to be getting on with uh, this quote and uh, a few words of the customer on the way down because there was a, some a miscommunication about uh, about what time I had to turn up, and the fact is. He, but he, he'd, said, he'd mentioned it earlier on in the week as well and uh, I had phoned him uh, several times and there was no response and uh, if I say I, I'm doing something I do it I'm not a liar and uh, not that he called me a liar and as it worked out um, having a few words just cleared the air and unfortunately for him he's been messed around by other contractors other landscapers that haven't just turned up and uh, when he did get hold of one of those landscapers so-called landscapers he said, I thought you were coming over. And he said, well, I'm not, apparently. So, a bit rude. So, he's had a bad experience, but hopefully we'll change that and we'll get him on the right road. So, we've gone and seen him. He likes the concept. He likes the idea and the proposal, what I put to him. His wife is very nice, very um, very pleasant. So, uh, I'm going to take them and show them an, uh, the Japanese garden that we've nearly finished. They can have a look at that and uh, hopefully they can speak to uh, Bernard, our, custom, our, our 
current client at the moment and a very nice gentleman too as, as well he is and he's already spoken to other potential customers for us as well I've taken them around and they've had a look so he will be on commission but it's so important that when you're a contractor you must turn up you know at least have the common decency to phone these people if you're not going to go just let them know just out in my garden now and uh, watching my dogs and uh, not a bad day it's dry a bit windy a bit chilly but it's, it's all right um one of the things that uh, i've noticed over the years is when uh, you go and see a client and uh, it's good in some respect if you're a designer a designer would say to a client they would ask them what their budget is and uh, then they would do a drawing or a design to the budget but when you're a landscaper stroke designer it wouldn't be fair on the client if they told you what the budget was really because you're making it fit and you know it's uh, it can be a recipe for disaster because there's some unscrupulous fellas out there that would easily take the money off people and uh, it wouldn't be the right thing to do so where do you stand are you a designer or a landscaper or are you both and if you are should you know what their available funds are because you can actually make the for example the price of the pavement per square meter to go up and that wouldn't be very good would it not for the client <laughs>